the differential equation used to model the concentration of glucose in the blood, which you denote by y of x, when it is being fed intravenously into the body is given by the derivative of y with respect to x plus k multiplied by y is equals to g divided by 100 v, where k there is a constant, g is the rate at which glucose is admitted and v is the volume of blood in the body. So the g and the v there, they are constants as well. In this video, I'm going to find the general solution of uh, the given or DE. So we'll be finding y of x. So given that ODE, this ODE is a first order ODE. It's a linear first order ODE. But when we have a linear first order ODEs, which are of the form derivative of y with respect to x plus p of x multiplied by y is equal to q of x, we can solve them using an integrating factor. And the integrating factor is given by mu of x is equal to exponent of the integral of p of x with respect to x, where the p of x is the coefficient of the y here. We then go on and multiply the given equation by the integrating factor and would have mu of x multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x plus mu of x multiplied by p of x multiplied by y is equals to mu of x multiplied by q of x. We can write this equation in compact form as the derivative of mu of x multiplied by y with respect to x is equals to mu of x multiplied by q of x. So now we can compare the equation that we are given there, compare it with uh, this form of a uh, linear first order ODEs. We look at the coefficient of y here, it's a p of x. The coefficient of y here, it's a k. So by comparison, we see that our p of x is equals to k. So we use this p of x to obtain our integrating factor. Our integrating factor there, we say it is uh, the exponent of uh, the integral of p of x dx. Our mu of x will be equals to uh, the exponent of the integral of k dx, just because you are saying the p there is k. The integral of k with respect to x, k is a constant. So the integral of the k there would give us exponent of ax. We do not add a constant of integration when evaluating the integrating factor. The next step is this one, multiplying the given equation by the integrating factor. So multiply this equation by this integrating factor and we have exponent of ax multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x plus exponent of ax multiplied by ky is equal to exponent of kx multiplied by g divided by 100 v. So we can uh, now go on and write the equation in compact form using this one. So what we'll be having there on the left hand side will be the integrating factor mu of x multiplied by the y. We take that derivative. Our mu of x is exponent of kx. So on the left hand side we'll be having the derivative of exponent of kx multiplied by y with respect to x. Then on the right hand side we'll have the mu x multiplied by the q, exponent of kx multiplied by g divided by 100 v. So we now have that equation there. And the next step is to integrate both sides of this equation with respect to x and then solve for y. So I can uh, go on and integrate both sides with respect to x. So we have the integral of the derivative of exponent of kx times y with respect to x with respect to x is equals to the integral of exponent of kx multiplied by g divided by 100 v. When you are looking at the integral on the left hand side, this one here, we are having the integral of a derivative of a function. When we integrate the derivative of a function, we get the function itself f of x. So in this case, when you integrate uh, on the left hand side there, this derivative, what we get is the function that we're differentiating, the exponent of kx, y. So on the left hand side, we have exponent of kx multiplied by y. On the right hand side, we are having the integral of exponent of kx. Then the g divided by 100 v there is a constant. So we can take it outside the integral sign. But you know that the integral of exponent of uh, ax with respect to x is equal to 1 over a multiplied by exponent of ax plus the constant of integration c. So this integral here will give us a uh, exponent of kx 
divided by k. So it will be exponent of kx divided by k multiplied by the g divided by 100 phi. So on the right hand side, we have exponent of kx multiplied by g divided by 100 phi times k plus the constant of integration c. Now the next step now is to make y subject of the formula. To make y subject of the formula, we look at this equation here. Divide throughout by exponent of kx. If we divide throughout by exponent of kx, we have y is equals to g divided by 100 phi times k plus c multiplied by exponent of minus kx. So what we are having here, this is the general solution of this uh, given ODE, which is what uh, the question was requiring us to find.